want to show you all the tools, the basic essential tools for leather crafting. You're so convinced on looking at which are the tools you need to get to start your leather crafting career. Here is the answer for it. So, all the questions that has been on my video, which tools is this, which tools are we going to get, which is best suit for leather crafting, which tools can you get so that you can improvise to save cost this video answer those questions so you want to get that that's what i'm going to be doing justice to in this video i'm on your wallet sunday from octose school of shoe making where we take non techy how to improve this craft so come with me right now welcome to this lesson in this new lesson i want to be introducing you to a few leather This is an eyelet maker. This is an eyelet maker. You pull in your eyelets in here, and after you come over to make hole in it on the surface you want to use, you made your hole using your hammer. You made your holes in it. And you insert it in this, okay? Just come over here. This is the handy one of it. You come over here, and then mount pressure on it. It's tear off the tip of it, and then cover it. At that, you have it fixed. So here is to fix eyelets. And same thing to this, these two doors one does two again, it's also doing the same thing, but as a limitation, the limitation it has is that it can't really go in more than this. Can so whenever it goes down, you press down and then all the eyelets itself, same eyelet size of this, get to press down the same way this press down this eyelet and get it properly fixed. Can see? You get in here, but the limitation of this has is that it cannot exceed here. You cannot come at the center and use this to press in any eyelet you have here. But with this, you can come at the center of any of your material and then make an impression on your eyelet. So here is a is another tools for eyelet making. My brush, this is a very important tool. Yeah, I've been using this, so this has been the gun has really dried in it. Here's another one of it. Here is brush, one inch brush. This comes in one inch, this comes in half inch, this comes in two inch, this comes in one and a half inch, one one quarter inch. Comes in different sizes of it. So, but most of the time, if it's to apply gum to my crafts or my work decks. I get to use this one inch. Why? Because it is handy. It is not too big, neither too small to take the particular portion of gum away from my container to the surface I really desire to have. So I use one this one inch. When I want to get other for all this, I follow some descriptions of other crafters online, and that's why I get some of all these tools. But believe me, it got to some point that I got to see the kind of craft I do that I need to get extra. Extra which I need to get not in no term of numbers, but in term of quality and durability and the strength at which my tools can last on pressures. That is what leads me to this. This is a perforator which is probably referred to as punch okay this is punch and doing the same thing like this doing the same thing like this but the difference between this and this is that this is made of wood fashionable crafted but this is made of a complete iron so the number of pressure that this can retain this dare not retain it this dare not retain the pressure that my plane iron punch can hold so dropping this i often use this for very light material like something like this but if it comes to me making 
holes in a very very hard material i cannot use this i can't use this the, what i will resort to is using this this is a very solid iron solid iron can mount and bear a very high pressure that might comes on it this comes in different sizes at the same time also comes in different shapes can see this comes in 9 mm this is 8 mm you can see the, the old thing they keep reducing this is 10 mm 7 mm 6 mm so sure this is going to be 5 mm okay 5 mm goes in like that like that so no matter the all you want to make this has a particular tools or punch that is dedicated to make that old for you okay two and then let's have two again so here it comes across and it also extends to the bigger size of it here in here is 12 mm it goes on on till you can get it to 20 mm of this so i i recommend you to get this because of its durability and its ability to mount to pick up any strap force that comes in it you want to make the pallet all on a very thick material strong material go in for this this is very very and at the same time not just durable it is highly very very affordable lower price than this okay coming up here, right here in here again i'd like to show you this this is just a scissors piece of scissors for the sake of this course all through this course in here these are the scissors i am going to be using you don't need to get all those sophisticated scissors in the um, surgery any scissors you don't need to get all that i want you to maximize your phone as possible just this with this set of scissors you are set to do exploit in leather craft here is just a simple one of it you need to could do a cut on your paper this is going to be doing awesome well and you need to do a simple cut on your leather rubber and this is one leather cutting tools that is you got to see the it's work on your finish shoes this is a waving edge scissors cutter you want to make a best spoke shoe that you have a swing weaving edge like this this is the scissors you're going to use to cut it out so i've decided to have this around because you're going to be making weaving edge best spoke baby oxford we're going to be using this for our use so it is very necessary and important for you to get these tools round this is it this is the tools so at this point i'm going to be showing you another tools which is also important in there the, these are the scissors so we can have it this can come in different color and sizes but still have the same features of cutting coming in here is a tools i also like to show you this is a these are french curves to have an accuracy in your drafting it's very important you have these french curves in here it has a complete pack of it complete pack of it is not on the high side i get this plastic one and if you can really invest in it the wooden big one is very very important you can get it that that will be very very useful for making a bigger size of bag 
So, but if you want to work on shoe, just shoe and some little accessories, this alone is enough. This French cuff is good. It helps you to draft. Awesome sapu, awesome cuff. Get helps you to get easy cuff out. Here is another tools. Here is edge painter. This helps to paint the edge of the project after you've worked on your bags, your shoe, your your accessories. You need to get the edge paint coated. Then here is what you need to use. Come, you dig it in into a die, and then you scroll it around the edges. You get dig it in, in the die, and you scroll it around the edges. This works like magic. Get it. There are different tools that can do edge, but I recommend you to get this. This to apply paint to the edge of your craft. So, you've seen the little tools I've introduced to you. Here are the little tools I'm going to be using throughout this project. Get it? This will be the little tools I'm going to use throughout this project. Crafting this awesome thing you're going to be seeing on this platform. Not leaving out some tools. There's these tools that I think are very important again you need to see. Here. Yeah. Not just the tools, but the part of the tools. Here is a dice, a crafting dice, using leveling, customizing on your project. This can get to customize on wood. This can get to customize on leather with a bit of heat. So, if you want to get your name engraved on your craft it's i recommend you get a crest like this what you need to do is have a bit of it transferred on it and when it is being transferred on it it's gonna be you will be able to transfer what is written in here on your leather surface not just your leather surface even on your wooden surface this does wonder and works like magic here is another tools which is very important when you now you now start to sell you need to sell you need to make it custom these tools is very very important it doesn't come in in this plastic i have to store it in this plastic to protect it from getting missed here is a, a complete alphabet from a to z so to get this for it not to get it missed up i get to drop it in here and get the cover up for any of this alphabet not to drop off. Okay, again is another die still working on branding. Here is how to get the project done. Here is how to get an efficiency on it. Coming in here is a dice that comes with all the numbers from one. So two, eight, and the magic that was done in here, nine doesn't appear, but nine appears under six. Here is six. So when it's being turned the other way around, it becomes nine. So these dice covers nine and six, and at the same time I have for zero. In here. So here as a complete number. So whenever you want to make, we're done with the project and want to have a sizing on it. This uh, this dice is very very important for you to have to be able to have sizes on it engraved on the sole. Both works on leather, works on rubber, very very well. Okay. Trying to make everything and tools. I have with me my mobile gas. I use this can gas to eat up whatever I want to eat up with ease. 
this can be improvised with your cooking gas so if you are up and you have your cooking gas in there you can improvise this with your cooking gas but working on my in my private studio in here like this i most i like using my mobile gas often time i go back to the store which i got this and i eventually find out that it's out of stock is this is out of stock but if you can lay your hands on it it's very very important and it's very very easy this is how it's been used i got the gas released and i fire it so if i need to have any utilization on my craft this is going to do it for me without leaving my private craft studio without leaving it i'm going to mount it on my any object i want to mount it on and not just this it it says doesn't bring out smoke and i don't need to use any stick of matches trying to scratch up any stick of matches i just come in here and then power it and it's done bringing out really it in there so that is it working with measurement ruler is very very important is one tool that is very very important in here a straight rule a measurable rule is very very important you need to connect some joints together ruler is very 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 important for you to have you can get it longer the longer length of it I have a shorter angle length of it and I have, still have a very long one of it so whenever you get it, you can get a long one of this, you can get a medium size of it, and you can get a very long one of it, depends on the fun you have to put in, in getting your tool. So here is the ruler, in there, okay, still coming up right in here, I need, after you've been able to get this or that, or that, you get yours customized i highly recommend if you want to get different colors of prints on your craft in here you can get to use do this this comes in different foil which you can use you're gonna see me using this in my project you'll be seeing me using this in the project in there so the way how to use it you will see our full details on how it's being used so but this four comes in different colors comes in blue comes in white comes in green comes in red you can see this is gold and this is also black yeah yeah yeah, yeah. this has to be heated up and it brings out the color in on this to transfer on the surface of the project we really want it to to be so that is it for the four this four is and this all together is a complete tools of personal branding you want to brand your project here yeah, comes in together so here yeah, is a complete project of personal branding so you want to brand your project that is what this is uh just this tool is going to use for your personal branding with this you are good to go okay right in here i see a few tools in here to go this is the tools I've showed you all the tools and in here coming back again as I said at the beginning of this is these tools are tools that I will be using to run all these courses you will be running on this platform I'm going to be using these hand tools any machine I'm going to be using will be introduced to you later but all the hand tools I'm going to be using are just this these are just the answers. I never say you should not get anyone you wish to get, but if you want to work on budget, I rec I recommend you just get all these few ones. When you get these few ones, then other way around, you can start improvising on the others. So right now here it is, and the other tools which I would like to show you, which is very very important in shoe making, is the last. Last is very important. I did, I'm here in my private workshop. I'm not going to be showing you more info on last in i'm going to take you into my last rack at the main workshop to see this variety of glass we have and the shapes it comes and the sizes it comes so come with me workshop right now to see other set and complete forms of last on my last rack okay coming here right now this tool is very very important seriously there is nothing I think you can do so far in shoe without laying your hand on one of these. 
I've got, I've got the tools I've shown you so far in my private studio. Here is my launch for my last, the rack. In there. It's not compulsory you have all this. Just want to show you how the last is made of and different forms of it that we have. Last is made in a foot of human proportion. These tools are very, very important tools of shoe making. This is what's going to make your shoe into sizes. Not just sizes, but to shape. This comes in different shapes, then to different shapes at which you want different sizes, different shapes that you want to make your project come out to. This comes in a point side, flat, heel, comes in different sizes of over and it comes in different forms. We have the plastic forms of it, have the woody forms of it, and there is a metal glass. This metal glass is being used by the mass production producing fair using heavy duty machine but in here I highly recommend this plastic glass I mostly use a plastic glass the main reason I use plastic glass is that plastic glass is being molded by machine and it's always accurate not to be compared to the wooden glass that is hand capped though of late machines is being used to mold the wooden glass now but the plastic glass is more, more, more durable than the wooden when it falls, when you nail it up, it's not going to wear and say it doesn't come so quick on plastic glass to be compared to the wooden glass. So here is glass, plastic, wooden, metal making human foot proportion. This is it, it's very, very important, a very important tool you can't do without when it comes so shoe making. So in here is it. I have different forms of it. Comes in different shapes to make my different boots. Different shapes of it. Very from women. So having one for the kids in here. So this is it. You just take another adventure to my last rack. So here is it. Here is the last. It is very, very important in shoe making. So when you get it, get different sizes. Before you get your sizes, be so sure the shape you want to get is a shape you like and you want to invest that kind of money on it. It might cost a while, but it's always good and very durable. There are some last in here that I've been using for years and it still remains that shape, so always durable. So here's a tools. Right now, I've shown you all the little hand tools for craft and especially laying more attention on shoemaking. Here is the last one. Thank you so much. Hope you start ordering for yours. Each details I give about each tools, please pay attention on it. And the ones that you think you can easily Leave out of it, leave it out of it, but the crucial one, the most important one, go for it. Okay, you've seen my tools. I've shown you around all the tools and the way it's being used. How best you can easily apply them. The tools are here. Please start laying your hands on it. You like to craft, please start laying your hands on it. These are the tools going to be using on the course that I said I have for you. I have the course, as I said, a bonus for you. For you watching this video, there's a link in the description button. They go in there, click, click the link, and it's going to navigate you to where to take the course. If you like this video, i like you to give it a thumbs up for an encouragement. Share it to your friends. And while you share it, don't forget to subscribe. While you're su subscribing, please click the bell button. i like you to be notified for a subsequent video. Thank you so much. Every time. And when you are a Sunday, never stop learning.